you said you were diagnosed two years ago, but it's maybe been four years since you, since you started experiencing yeah. symptoms. Um, actually, so I, it started, we think when I was 13, I just turned 13, I went to the Red River Gorge. This is Climbing Gold. Well, let's see where to start. So I was diagnosed with Lyme disease in 2022. Um, in, I would say like 2020 is when I started getting like really started getting sick and we didn't know what was happening. Um, and then when I was diagnosed with Lyme, we kind of were able to put it all together. And, uh, I think I actually contracted Lyme in the Red River Gorge. I have three co-infections as well. So I have like four diseases from ticks. So it's <laughs> your face. Is, I know. I'm like, yeah. geez, is that like, what, what does that mean? That means, so basically like on the, in like the, not in a nutshell, the co-infections are basically other infections that are like Lyme disease, but they cause different symptoms. So I'm just going to, when I'm talking about Lyme, I'm kind of talking about Lyme and co-infections, but it's just less confusing if I just group it all in with Lyme. So, so it's just a host of other symptoms that, that occur. Like, yeah, she, yeah, you just lump it all in. It's, it's Lyme, but it's basically Lyme plus other yeah, things Lyme that, that like act in the same things. way. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And like at the, the basis, like basically Lyme disease that we get from ticks, like a tick bite, you know, and, the, and people think this just happens on the East coast, but it can happen really all anywhere. over the place. Yeah. Basically yeah, anywhere, like, yeah. like at this point, you know, it's all over the U S it's in other countries, whatever, you know, it happens all over the world, but it's, uh, they carry a bacterium called Borrelia. And what it does is like, it starts in the skin and then it gets into the bloodstream. And then from the bloodstream, because once it's in the bloodstream, it can kind of go and affect any organ within the body. So that's why people can end up with really differing symptoms. And you can end up going to a bunch of different doctors and you're like, this is wrong. This is wrong. And people can't find an explanation. So people will spend years and years. Like I did like trying to treat different symptoms and figure out what's going on. And people end up with a lot of false um, and misdiagnoses for other issues mm -hmm. as well. Um, but yeah, it's honestly, it's brutal. Yeah. What, what, uh, what are the symptoms? Like what actually happens? Um, it depends on the person. Honestly, right now, my worst symptom is like chronic migraines. So like I have a migraine almost every day, but like atypical migraines. So what, I'll definitely what do you mean, get atypical? a migraine. Uh, like atypical migraines can like affect you in other ways. Like you can get aura symptoms with your vision. You can get like numbness or tingling in your body, like really different things. So for instance, you know, <laughs> like I, I've been in Colorado uh, recently and climbing a lot on the front range as well as like in rifle and stuff like that. And um, I've had days where like, I feel amazing climbing outside, you know, I'm climbing with one of my best friends, Kai Leitner. And, um, you know, we're working on some hard routes together mm. and then I'll come home and like, I'll have a day where my migraines are really bad. And like, I'm literally in bed for two days. Mm. So it's, it's kind of crazy. Like the, the difference, the juxtaposition between like how, when I feel really good on the wall, when my body like feels like it's working the way it should be, like, I feel so good. And then I'll have like debilitating migraines. So that's my worst symptom right now, but I've gone through so many different symptoms, like different neurological symptoms. I've ended up in the hospital for heart problems, like some scary shit for sure. Yeah. So over the four, you said you were diagnosed two years ago, but it's maybe been four years since you, since you started experiencing yeah. symptoms. Um, actually, so I, it started, we think when I was 13, I just turned 13, I went to the Red River Gorge. And we never found the tick. And that's why, you know, and when I got home and I, I started having like a, a range of really weird symptoms when I was a kid and my parents, we didn't know what it was. And I got tested for Lyme disease with like a basic Lyme test and it was negative. And uh, I got like a brain MRI or whatever. That was my first brain MRI when I was like 13. I've had so many like things scans since and then, tests yeah. And yeah, like, it, like also scary things that you're just sitting there and in anticipation of being like, what's wrong? You know, what's going on? And meanwhile, trying to maintain my, my climbing career and like the thing that I absolutely love to do, you know, like, I feel like climbing is one of the things that like I was put on the earth for in a certain way. Like it just feels so, it feels so natural to me climbing on hard routes. Like it just feels so good. And, and so when I have periods where I'm feeling really bad. Like I'm so fatigued and I'm breaking into like a sweat and it's like hard for me to 
even have the energy to like get out of bed and walk to the car. I'm like, oh, all I want to do is be climbing up the crag, you know? But then when I feel good, I'm like, you know, I can climb on 9A. So it's quite wild. So how do you get your Lyme to go into remission? Um, mostly is antibiotic treatment. You know, I was, let's see, last year I was climbing in rifle in like September and stuff. And I literally was up there and I was like, I'm so sick. Like I was like getting on my project, getting down, vomiting, <laughs> trying my project again. <laughs> like I was like, this is just, I'm so sick. I was like, I need more intense treatment if I want to climb this hard. Like this is just not putting myself through this right now is not what's best for me. And so I decided to do a really intensive treatment where I went to um, a tiny country in Europe and just for, you know, I don't know what I can and can't say with that clinic and stuff like that. So I'll just be broad. Um, and I got treatment. I was on antibiotics for like four or five antibiotics, three other medications, IV for like five hours a day, sometimes like six hours a day alone in this tiny country for like almost two months. And um, yeah, it was like really brutal. Like really hardcore. Yeah. That's like going to prison or something. Yeah. 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 For sure. And like, um, I think also you learn that like other things in your life that your body is so sensitive to other things and everything's connected. So like it's learning how to like also cut certain things out of your life or people out of your life that don't bring you peace because when you do that your body can focus on healing and I think when you're dealing with other things sometimes you're not as focused on healing so it was a really big learning process for me in other and ways in other areas and uh so did, did you feel better after two months of treatment like that or I, you know, I did, did it help not completely better it did help it did help yeah it definitely helped but did not completely treat everything um, and a lot of people do a lot of treatments like that, people with chronic Lyme. Um, but for me, it was brutal. And I think I did have hope when I went there that I was like, okay, I'm going to be on IV for, you know, a month and a half or whatever. It was almost two months. Cause I think, I think I was on IV for a month, um, a month. And then I went to the North Face Athlete Center. So I flew to Sardinia for the North Face Athlete Summit uh, for whatever, four days or whatever. And then I flew back and I was back on IV for another maybe three weeks. So I think it was like maybe seven weeks. I was on IV five hours a day. That's so uh, crazy. It was brutal. And like, I looked like, I looked like I was shooting up. Like I had like tracks all over my arms. I was bruising really easily. Like I was losing a bunch of weight. I did not look healthy for sure. But Sometimes you have to take a step backward to take steps forward, you know? Mm -hmm.